the constitution of india preamble we the people of india having solemnly resolved to constitute india into a sovereign socialist secular democratic republic and to secure to all its citizens justice social economic and political liberty of thought expression belief faith and worship equality of status and of opportunity and to promote among them all fraternity assuring the dignity of the individual and the unity and integrity of the nation in our constituent assembly this 26th day of november 1949 do hereby adopt enact and give to ourselves this constitution hi everyone hope you all are good and rich there rich at your health so let me welcome you to today's class today's class is about small things so it's time for us to start with you may think what are the small things for us it can be from the button to the hair or to to the things which we spot on the ground right it may deal with the paws that we take out of the fingers or the knuckles of the fingers so it's time for us to start from here we have a few friends for us they never take care of their hair at times the hair looks a little shabby right so what do we ask them we must ask them to dress their hair up so instead of asking them to comb the hair it will be better to ask to dress the hair up think about the shirt where there are some wear and tear somewhere on your shirt so how do we do that instead of stitching the tear we must use the word that is fix fix the tear of the shirt or fix the tear that is there on to your shirt okay right so you have to dress your hair i have to fix the tear on to the shirt sometimes i have spotted some boys who do say the buttons has been lost the buttons are torn out so how do we have to address the button should give some respect for the button too because it is those buttons that is dressing up your shirt so how should we say that the buttons are ripped out so the buttons which are being ripped out has to be fixed to the shirt right as you have to dress up the shirt with a button right my dear children so make a note of all the three small things think about the body boy or the body girl we always wish to compliment them how do we compliment them for the dress we must tell them the dress looks good on you the dress is looking good upon you you look good on this dress because we are wearing the dress what is the phrasal verb to wear put on so the dress which is being put on by us is looking gorgeous on us okay dear children right think about the ground rules tripped over and stumble on every time we come across the playgrounds right we do kick the balls we do catch the feet on to some other blocks and we do get hurt so your friend will take you to the physical instructor she or he do tell the teacher that he hit over the stone so instead of hitting over the stone we can use a phrasal verb trip over when a person trip over something that is be unnoticed there are chances to get hurt okay and what about stumble on stumble on can be used with other misspeaking words too it can be a kind of shock or surprise so we girls at times we never think about the stairs or else the block which do prevent us from leading to the next level right so at times while talking we never notice the stairs 
So we do stumble on the stairs. So if you have any best friend to take care of you, it is their duty to prevent you from stumbling on. Right? So trip over and stumble on are being used to check the things which are near at your friend which block the destination. Okay, my dear children? Right. Now let us move to the other point. They are eaten and eat outs. Eating and eat outs are the phrasal verb that come with the eating habits. The place where you go and have your dinner or the place where you can go and have your dinner or lunch in a comfortable manner. We call those kind of places as eat ins. So what about eat out? The place which is a little away from your home, let it be a relative's home or let it be a restaurant. Okay, such kind of places are called eat outs. So you understood the difference between eat in and eat out. Now it's time for us to know about the other ordinary term. We always use to take the pots out of the fingers and the knuckles, right? So this portion of our hand or the arm is called the fist. These crest and truff or the ups and downs we are called as knuckles. Clear? Okay. So in case of you feel really exhausted, which means very tired, Oxytensy for the body, right? And at the same time, you do takes the cracks of the muscle and the joints, right? We call this as to take the pots out of the knuckles. What do we see? We are taking the pots out of the knuckles. So, in case if you find some of your close one doing this kind of a thing. You tell them this is the taking pots out of the knuckles. Right, my dear children? Okay. Again, I have to tell you one more important thing. There are many signal scenarios related to our cell or the network. Right? So at that time, we do tell our teachers that, teacher, we are unable to pick the call. The network is very low. There is no band. There is no tower. Okay? So due to poor network or poor signal, our calls do drop occasionally. So if there are the dropped calls, or if there are the calls which do drop occasionally, we call it as a dropped call. Okay? So I had a dropped call or the call got dropped. It may be due to the bird signal out there at your station or at your place. Right? Okay. So you understood about the dropped call or the call get dropped. Okay. Then the next is about the eat in and eat out. You must remember that these two are phrasal verbs which go with our eating habits. Then we heard about the button in the shirt, the ripped out button and how to dress up the hair. What about trip over and stumble on too? Right my dear children? So be faithful in the small things you believe in because it is where our strength lies. Take care of your health, drink plenty of water, believe in yourself. Okay? Till we see you in the next session. It's a bye for me. Bye-bye.